Hello and welcome back everybody. This time I'm gonna be playing Trindomir in the top lane. Now let's see, they recommend Doron's shield and blade. Uh, that's a singed with Faith Rush, so I'm gonna go with the safe option. And let's just head to lane. So, they're recommending Kraken Slayer, Gale Force, and Immortal Shield Bow, which to be honest are great items, but I'm not feeling them for Trindomir. Like sure, they give crit chance, but do you really want these items on Trindomir? Maybe Kraken Slayer, but I don't know. Let's check the fighter items. I'm feeling Stridebreaker is a good item on Trindomir. Also, it builds in the cam it builds from Kama. So this thing helps with wave clear as well. Because the active is a it's an AoE. And it's gonna be doing a lot of damage late game, like 300 something at least. But that's pretty much gonna one shot the wave at one point. So I'm running pretty much a standard Trindomir build. And this guy is not respecting the power of Trindomir at all. And he's gonna die for it. Oh, interesting. He actually lives and he levels up. That's annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Like, the wave's gonna crash immediately. I don't normally play top lane, so this might feel like a weird game for me. <laughs> hey, let's go. You really didn't have to flash for it though, I think. He's got TP, so... What? Ah, that's annoying. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Okay, thanks for the lift, I guess. <laughs> oh. So, Kama. Hmm. Oh man, that's bad. That's really bad. If Kha'Zix is here, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Luckily he's not. Let me just... Yo, you know what? I'm just gonna sit on lane, actually. It's a little bit annoying that I got flinged there. But hey, what you gonna do about it? Nothing. Can't do nothing. I was hoping to get both... Oh. I haven't played Trend in like so long, <laughs> it's really weird. I probably should have went with another build, but I'm going pretty standard right here. Uh, dude, you're out of mana. And if it sits on lane, it's gonna die. Like, all I gotta do is pretty much this. <laughs> Crit, please? Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. 
Trindamir is pretty strong against Singed. Especially early. And the only way he has of killing me is if I mess up, if his jungler ganks and he sets him up, which doesn't happen because Kha'Zix is bot side, or he just doesn't die in lane, which... Yeah, as a Trindamir into Singed, you just want to farm him early, if possible. Oh yeah! Yeah, hi. I'm gonna crit the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have to ult here. But I'm gonna do it anyway. And yeah. So, the reason I ulted was... Just to get the cannon minion out of the way. <laughs> like... I just wanna see us. And I'm probably gonna go into Kama. Why? I really like Stride Breaker. And should I get Kodachi actually? Sure. Let's go this. Let's go this route. And uh, let's just grab a pot. A, a pot. So, come on. This is basically Tiamat, but it only has the active, so it has no passive ability like Tiamat has. So it's not gonna be actively pushing your wave. Which I'm feeling like is really good on Trindamir. Yeah, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Poor guy didn't even get an assist. Yeah, I feel like a lot of champions are just kinda broken with the new items. Oh. Oh man. Wow, wait a minute, that's actually... The range on this is kind of big, like it's huge. Wait a minute. It's like covering the entire wave. <laughs> I think it's it might be bit bigger than Tiamat range. From live, I'm not sure. Like season 10 Tiamat, I'm not sure if it has the same range. I think I just killed them both. <laughs> like, dude, they're not respecting the Trindamir player at all. I know I don't play Trindamir, but come on. Like, if you're gonna jump into me, you're gonna die. <laughs> and with the current items he has, he's probably dead as well if he tries something. Yeah, that's not how you play Singed, by the way. <laughs> so you wanna fling me into the... What's that? A acid or whatever? Yeah, the, the lower I get, the harder I'm gonna hit you, by the way. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna ult for it. Soon. Like, if it tries flinging me again, I'm gonna ult. Because ign my ignite's up. So that's probably a kill next time he tries something. And. Oh man. I misjudged tower damage there. As per usual. <laughs> Do I just. Do I just recall and buy Karachi? So. Really what you want is Stride, stride Breaker or Triforce for Trend, I feel like. Or maybe Gore Drinker, but... I feel like Stride Breaker is quite literally the best Trindamir starting item. Like, you get a small dash, you also get a Tiamat-like active as well. And also it grants you movement speed. Also, it's on a 20 second cooldown, so it's pretty darn good. And you get HP, AD, rack speed, and cooldown reduction, or ability haste, how they call it now. Wait. Um, okay. Yeah, he recalled. 
So I just now noticed they actually changed how transcendence works because of the addition of ability haste. So you get Kama feels kind of weird actually. So you get five ability haste at level five and another five at level eight and at the level eleven. On champion takedown, reduce the remaining cooldown of a basic abilities by 20%. Oh my god, that's super strong for Trindomir right now. Wait a minute. Uh, hello? I feel like Riot buffed Trindomir because of this. Like, not only is this broken, because it allows you to heal faster and dash faster, but... And no more AD, but that doesn't really matter for Trinomir, like... How often do you get max CDR on Trinomir anyway? Not often. But this thing is gonna be super strong. Yeah, I'm feeling Trinomir is gonna be a really strong top laner. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so, how that works is kinda weird. But the interaction of Sion, uh, not Sion, of Singed Gu into Trindamir E. Like, if I dash with Trindamir before he, like, spinning slash before his Gu, that's not gonna do anything. It's gonna slow me, sure, but no, it's not, actually. <laughs> it only works if and only if I don't dash before. Let me just slow your ass down. Woo! Let's go! Easy. Imagine I haven't played Trindamir in like two seasons. <laughs> but this feels legit like... Oh my god. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I almost killed myself. Yeah, I'm feeling Trindamir's gotta be pretty strong. So it's gonna be set, apparently. <laughs> A lot of champions are gonna be super busted. Like, I'm feeling... Riot needs to balance every single item in the game right now. And champions, and runes, like... Oh my god, I don't even know if they're gonna be able to balance this out by the end of... Season... I wanna say by the end of preseason. Like, by the start of next season, this shit is gonna be super imbalanced. <laughs> like, even more so than season 10 was. Yikes. So, do I just get... What do I get? Let's see. Let's look for some zeal items. So, Hurricane, Fire Cannon, PD. Oh, PD. Looks like it's been buffed. Wait a minute. So, PD's got some buffs. Right. I, I feel like I've seen this before, but I'm gonna read it again. Like, Spectral Waltz. Attacks grant ghosting and an additional 7% movement speed for 7 seconds. In addition, attacking 5 times causes Spectral Waltz to also grant 40% attack speed for the same duration. So that's not only a movement speed buff, I mean uh, a movement speed act passive, but also a attack speed passive. Bear in mind this is actually a movement speed and attack speed item. So this is gonna be super strong. Not only for ADCs but for Yasuo, Yone and Trindamir as well. I feel like these items are unnecessarily strong. <laughs> I'm gonna go and just grab Harold. Like, Singed is on bot side for some reason. And I'm not gonna judge, but this is giving me a free Herald. And they don't really get anything. Like, Singed maybe thought they were gonna get Drake off of it. I would have saved my TP. I'm pretty sure he TP'd bot. Oh, yeah. I need to actually reposition this in my inventory. <laughs> Because I'm using a gaming mouse with like four, bu uh, three extra buttons or four maybe. I don't actually remember. Mm. 
but yeah this is basically a sort of Tiamat like it's almost like a what you call it a Hydra item let's see and Hydras are not wait a minute so this can actually stack with Hydras but I'm not sure you actually need them though like uh, I feel like Ravenous got nerfed because of Stride Breaker. Yeah, like, because the Tiamat lost its... It's active. Ravenous got nerfed. Because Ravenous does no longer have the Tiamat active. It's only gonna be perma pushing, but... Yeah, no more active to animation cancel with Hydra. So I feel like Stridebreaker is quite literally the best item for animation cancelling for AD champions. For melee, actually. Oh man! Wait! Oh! Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's really good. <laughs> and we are out, baby! Let's go! <laughs> that was kinda scary, actually, I'm not gonna lie. They really tried me there. <laughs> Patience is really all you need, but... This guy is dead. Uh, I, uh, dude, you wanna run, like... My ult's down. I can't help you. Do I try? Sure. Like, he kinda went for it. So I kinda have to... Hey, let's go! But my god, Urgot is OP right now, what the hell? So, I think Ravenous works with Urgot W, which is why Urgot just destroyed everyone. I feel like that's the case. Oh my god, that's super broken. Oh my god, so Urgot's a whole new beast right now because of Hydra, because of Ravenous. Yeah, well, I, I know Kraken Slayer works, but yeah, but uh, yeah, like Hydra should really work on melee. Riot, uh, I think you forgot something. <laughs> Uh, sure. Let's buy Tabis. Like, I don't fear Singed, even though he has a Leandris. What I do feel, however, is this Lucian. <laughs> so it's either I jump him and wreck his face, or I die, because... Yeah. They have a lot of damage. They don't have a lot of tankiness. However, this Listen seems to be going for a Sunfire tank build, which is kind of interesting to me. Oh, I kind of killed the... Uh... Well, never mind. <laughs> I didn't really want to steal the kill from Urgot, but it happened. <laughs> anyway, Urgot and Trindomir. Yeah. So, bear in mind that's Urgot mid against a Karina. So Karina got completely trashed, creamed, just... Oh my god, just, just look at that CS. <laughs> like, it's 50 to 120 right now. Yeah, this item feels kind of weird, but it's working, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> but yeah, this is Trindomir. Welcome to Season 11, guys. I hope you like it. It's here to stay. Um, guys, I need help. I think my Jin is dead. He is something silly. So do I.
I'm gonna still try and steal it. Hey, let's go. Wait, did I get it though? Yes, I got it. Okay. <laughs> this was delayed as hell. Um, what are you doing? I'm a Trindomir. Dude, you cannot kill me. Like, seriously, I have my ult up. <laughs> what are you thinking? Like, come on. They're not respecting the power of Trindomir ult. By the way, this needs to be reworked. Like, Trindomir, I feel like, is one of those champions that are super unhealthy for the game but Riot's on a trend with super unhealthy stuff for the game right now so I, I don't think his R is getting a rework anytime soon <laughs> I feel like everything's great on Trindomir except his R being unable to, to kill this champion for 5 seconds is sometimes better than having a tank bear in mind this is not a tank champion so this guy is gonna melt your entire team in five seconds if played correctly and if he's enough fed <laughs> like if he's fed enough he's pretty much gonna penta solo this is an unkillable mastery basically that can heal himself while dealing damage <laughs> why i don't know but it's a thing and should i go collector i want to try some of these new items this feels like a strong Trindomir item, I'm not gonna lie. So let's go like this. Why do I feel like this is gonna be a strong Trindomir item? Imagine critting and dealing damage that would leave an enemy below 5% health executes them. Imagine critting with this item on you. Yeah, it's gonna melt people. It's pretty much gonna feel like you have Elder Drake. Um, uh, sure. And whoop! Ayo, get back here. Err. Oh man, I missed! I missed! I missed! I missed. I missed my spin slash. Yeah, I would have killed Rushan and gotten away from Singed. Like, there's no doubt about it. I would have killed him. Yeah, for sure. Also, Eclipse has Omnivamp, Lethality, Attack Damage, and hitting a champion with two separate attacks or abilities within 1.5 seconds deals bonus physical damage equal to 16% of their max HP and grants you 30% movement speed and a. That's like a. F a 300 shield for melees and 100 for ranged for 2 seconds on a 6 and 12 second cooldown for melee and for ranged. Holy sh... That's a pretty strong item. All of these items are pretty... 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 pretty, yes. <laughs> pretty OP, I was gonna try and say, but I, I was stuck with, pr with the pretty word. So for some reason Riot feels like these items are healthy for the game. I'm, I'm really not sure why. Like, imagine we had a balanced game somewhere in the distant future. I don't think that's gonna happen ever. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I don't think we're gonna be having a balanced League of Legends anytime soon. Yeah, that's broken. <laughs> oh my god, the wave clear on Urgard. Urgot is gonna be hella powerful. And uh, where the hell are we going? Like, hello? Dude. Come on. Come on. Like, you didn't think you were gonna get away, right? Like, you're obviously not getting away from a Trindomir. If you wanna get away, don't grab the Andres first. Cat? You know what? I'm gonna... And I'm dead. Ugh, never mind. <laughs> and we finished the collector. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, so they removed the lifeline passive on Phantom Dancer. That means... 
or let's see, Sterak. So Sterak's an option right now. Also, what the hell gives this lifeline? I don't know. Well, anyway, Sterak is an option right now, but. Considering the amount of AD they have on Lucian, we should probably be getting a Dance Dance next. I'm kind of thank you for a tree in the mirror. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, this damn Urgot, man. Just. Oh, that. That ravenous interaction with Urgot is, is killing me right now. <laughs> That's painful to see. Uh, get back here. Let me hit you real quick. That was a... wait. That looked like a 10k crit. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's actually funny. Did I just crit for 10k with the collector? That's actually funny. Oh man. That's actually funny. I need the ult and get in there. Hey, let's go. That's another 10k, 10k crit, by the way. <laughs> so collector is a pretty strong item for finishing off kills, and I feel like this is gonna be really strong for champions that use ignite. <laughs> yeah. So you're, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be critting and executing champions with your ignite dot because that counts as dam dealing damage it doesn't say you have to deal damage with basic attacks or abilities so I'm pretty sure it works with ignite <laughs> that's that's actually funny so ignite is gonna be even stronger because of that single item <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what is this season man come on come on like, th like this is this is just funny Sure. You know what? I don't even care. Let's just... Let's see. Crit items. Uh, what the heck is this? <laughs> they added crit chance on Bloodthirster. Oh my god. Really? Okay. I'm gonna be buying a BT then. It's not even a mythic item. <laughs> oh. I'm actually crying right now. Riot, please, if you see this video, just rework these items again. Oh my god, this works on minions as well. Wait, I'm almost one-shotting waves. Probably works on Bar Baron and Elder as well. Oh my god. Uh, what is this item, man? Like, come on. Really? Re really? So I'm just gonna ignite and see what happens. I just wanna see if he dies. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> That's not a 5% then. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that's still funny as all hell. Yeah, you can't kill me. Err... Uh, wait. <laughs> okay! Full tank listen is almost unkillable. I need a Kraken Slayer for that, apparently. <laughs> well, never mind. My job is not actually to kill a full tank listen anyway. But that was just funny that I couldn't kill the support at all. <laughs> so yeah. 
tanks are not as irrelevant as people think. However, if you have <laughs> a champion like Urgot on your team, they're gonna melt like crazy. Yeah. And... Sure, let's get some more crit. Actually, let me just buy Vamp Scepter first. Yeah, I'm really liking these funny items at the moment. <laughs> uh, well, that was game. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Peace out.